We are looking at another Amazon Choice product, but today, mm -hmm. this is not a speaker or headphones or earphones. We're looking at a desktop monitor. Yes, we are looking at the number one best-selling gaming monitor on Amazon at the moment. This one goes for $110, and it offers some cool features. This is the BenQ GW. 2208. This is an LED backlit monitor. It does offer an HDMI high definition multimedia interface, which is good to know. It is 22 inches. 21.5 is what they say yeah. on the screen. So, this offers a 60 hertz refresh rate as well as a 6 millisecond delay response time. Now, 60 hertz is not the, it's not terrible, it's what you'd expect. It's like 60 frames per second. Most professional gamers game on 144 hertz nowadays, but when you're starting out gaming, this is the perfect monitor for you. Flicker free. Let's test it out. But not only just for gaming, but also for your everyday use, right? Yeah, you can use this for your everyday use. It is only a 1080p resolution screen, which is okay. You can't watch anything 4K in it, which is fine. Usually whenever you use a high resolution screen, it takes more computing power or more power in general. So let's get into it. What does that say? What does it say? Mercury free LED? Mercury free LED backlit display. BFR and PVC free casing plastic, which is good for the environment. And eco-friendly ink printing and packaging box. That's yeah, good. the box does look pretty eco-friendly. Like there's nothing very dark. Even the tape is uh, pretty good. I thought I could have- not very good. I thought I could have pulled that off. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what is inside. All right, so, you pull it I don't out. know if this foam is really equal. Oh, it says PVC free casing plastic. So. I mean, that styrofoam does not look good. Uh, maybe it could be. It looks like it has a lot Yep, that is the stand Here for it. Here is the LCD user manual if you need to use it, which not a lot of people do. Yep. Here is the charging port, another cable. The stand. Yep. And monitor. All right. Well, you have to set it up. Amazon fun fact. Yeah. While we're setting it up, how many re reviews do you think this got? I don't know. Last time I said way too many. Five hundred. Five hundred. You will have to wait to the end to find out exactly how many reviews this one got. Don't cheat though. Don't look early. Most professional gamers prefer a 21 inch monitor because a larger one is too hard to see each corner. Interesting. I did not know that. Ooh, all right, here we go. Slide it in. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Oh, is it in? So it looks like it's held in there by friction. There's nothing else to it. Yeah, there's no screws to secure it in there, but it's pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, it does have the mounting plate at the back of it so that you can hook it up to any sort of arm. So if you have like a monitor arm at your workstation or at your desk that you don't want to use a stand for, you can do that. So inside of the box, it comes with a VGA cable, which is nice. If you want to use that, you can use it. It's pretty old. Uh, if you're rocking a VGA for your competitive gameplay, you may need to upgrade your computer first. In terms of IO, it supports two HDMI cables as well as that sort of VGA cable, as well as the line in and headphone out. So let's turn it on. I mean, there's buttons here. At the bottom, there's five selections as well as the power. Ooh, Ben Q, I care. I don't know what that means. Protect your eyes. All right, so we've loaded Star Wars Battlefront to sort of get a feel of how the monitor reacts. Now, the five millisecond delay time isn't actually that bad when you think about it. It gets really bad when it's like 10 plus milliseconds, but five is livable. Uh, in a competitive standpoint, you do want one millisecond or sub one millisecond. We'll see how the display looks. I mean, it looks pretty clean. There are different settings that you can go through. So if you go here into your settings, you can change like the display resolution, the pitch profile. If you want it to be more contrasty, you can do that as well. There's eye care. So if your room is dark, it'll automatically dim its screen, which is nice. It does have audio built in. So if you don't have a headset, or speakers. Yeah, if you don't have speakers or a headset, you can just use a monitor. Strangely enough, most gaming monitors do not have a built-in speaker. So this already kind of sets the bar higher. Most gaming monitors, they have they force you to use either headphones or speakers, which some people would think is an added benefit, but it's also nice in case you don't have those or can't afford them. It's nice to have built-in speakers. 
All right, here we go. Star Wars Battlefront. Look at that. L look at these guys. Darth Vader. How come you couldn't be on the cool team? Why'd you get stuck with the little green dude? All right, here we go. So, Nathan is now Yoda. He's jumping around. Okay, that is... Okay. Well, first impressions, the monitor is pretty good. I can't really complain. For $110, it shows you the picture. And it looks not bad, I mean. In terms of bezels as well, it has pretty thin bezels like all around except for the chin, which is expected. Oh, come on, kill him, swipe, use your... Oh, in terms of build quality, the stand's pretty good. Down here, it is a hardened plastic, which is nice. It has a cool texture on it. Nothing crazy special. The back of it has the same texture as well. The bezels look nice. They're thin. Tactile buttons. It's not bad for the price. $110. American, right? No. 110 American, yes. Yeah. No, it's good. Has all the ports you need, two HDMIs, and you just, I'm you done. just oh. I'm wow. done. That's why I don't game. Sure, leave it to the non-gamer to play a game. Whose idea was that? Oh, Chewy, Chewy. Can you, oh gosh, well, I'm dead. I'm just gonna, oh wow, well, that. Wow, you lasted even less than I did. At least I didn't kill myself. At least I didn't jump off of the map, okay? Amazon fun fact, how many reviews did it get, Nathan? I what did, hear what did you say? You said 500 and something? I just said 500. So, you were a little bit closer than last time. There was 304 reviews. And... I don't know if I should be impressed by that or not. So, now we're gonna look at some of the... One of the best comments and one of the worst comments. Yes! So this was... This is a good comment. It had 11 people said they found this helpful. This is by Sewing Dame 87. Sewing this, Game? Sewing Dame. And it, people have some interesting names. The title of this comment was, must have for migraine sufferers. I'm a migraine sufferer and work in dual, on dual monitors for at least 40 hours a week. So typically everybody in an office job. I was hesitant about buying a new computer screen since I need about, since I need two. I was desperate to deter any and all migraine triggers. I went ahead and bought these, not expecting much of a difference, but I am shocked. I keep my screen brightness extremely low since I have photophobia with my migraines. Interesting. And even with the brightness on a level of five, everything is crisp, clear, and easy to read. My eye fatigue has decreased dramatically along with my migraines. So that's very good. If you suffer from migraines and have to be on a computer often, it is worth the investment of $110. Very cool. I mean, it does have that eye care protection. Now, another another tip, if you are suffering from migraines, just get yellow glasses. That block blue blue light it. blocking glasses very, really helped me. I had a concussion a while back and they helped me a lot when I wore them. So instead of getting a monitor that tailors to that, just pick up those instead. Gamers also use it to game longer. Amazon fun tip. All right, let's hear the worst review. Okay, so this is from Jeremy. <laughs> Do not buy Jeremy this feel? under any circumstance. Easily the worst monitor I have ever used. Quickly, quickly moving objects change color, probably because the monitor's colors do not have a properly synced update. Everything is really fuzzy, so text is challenging to read. The chassis isn't even wide enough, so that there's about seven pixels that aren't even available, regardless of how you set the horizontal position. Jeremy sounds like... We're sorry you feel that way, Jeremy. Three people found this review helpful. I don't know, I feel like that's someone just like hating on someone. A lot of people expect monitors at various price points to offer the exact same features. So Jeremy could be coming from a more expensive monitor and then just tried this one out and then didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But for the price, $110, we've used a lot of different monitors. I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. It was fine. And out of the 304 reviews, 66%, so kind of low, but still okay, 66% of them gave them five stars. 19% gave them four stars. Now, when a lot of people pick up monitors, it has a lot to do with personal preference, what kind of colors you like, maybe the monitor's too cool or too warm of a tint. So, I mean, it's up to you, but we didn't mind it. No, I, mean, I didn't mind it at all. This Yoda jumping character over here, it couldn't help him. <laughs> I'm not a good gamer. 
<laughs> but oh, he's not man. any better because he died okay. a lot faster than I did. Anyways, actually. let us know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to see us review anything, let us know as well in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new.